Hello guys, I'm Kiri. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a 1989 Nissan Skyline R32. The car what is here today is a Nismo version and it's very special because just 560 of them were built. Nismo is the sport department of Nissan, something similar to BMW M or Mercedes AMG. We're going to come back to the specials Nismo cars, but let's see first the history of the Skyline model because it really is very interesting. Originally, Skyline cars were produced by different than Nissan car manufacturer. This was a Prince Motor Company, which doesn't exist anymore. They started to build them in 1957. But then, 10 years later in 1967, Nissan merged to Prince. And from that moment, the model Skyline is part of the Nissan cars. Up to today, there are 13 different generations of Nissan Skyline because really they are very, very popular. So we know them more as R-types, for example, Nissan Skyline R31, R32, 34. But before that, they were named with the letter C. So the letter R is came after 1980s. The very distinctive part of Nissan Skyline history is the very famous six-cylinder inline engine. Of course, some of the early versions being equipped with four-cylinder engines and the latest 2007 model R35 with the V6 engine. But let's say again, the six-cylinder inline Skyline engine is the most popular and most coolest engine. Different shapes as well and body styles from four-door saloons, estates, even pickups. But the most well-known are the sporty two-door coupes, especially GT, GTS, and GTSR as well. And if it's Nismo, we are going to different level. So generation by generation, we come into 1989 and the model R32, the car what is here in front of us today. This model was available as a four door saloon or two door coupe. Was in production from 1989, as we said, till 1994. The total production number is 313,491 cars, from which 43,937 are GTR version. Very small number, cars are equipped with the 4-cylinder 1.8-liter engine, and all the cars are with the very classic configuration front longitudinally mounted engine and rear wheel drive, but some of the models are 4-wheel drive system. As well, very interesting fact is, most of the models had the four-wheel steering system. And remember, we're talking about 1989. The rear steering wheels being hydraulically connected to the front ones. Very advanced technology. Also, Honda been using four-wheel uh, system in some of the models. So the Japanese cars from 1980s were very high-tech. The transmissions were three types fitted into the R32, four-speed automatic, five-speed automatic, or the standard five-speed manual gearbox transmission, which was for the top models. Now, let's say something about the very popular engines. We said early, they are four-cylinder and, and six-cylinder engines, but the four-cylinder engines uh, was for some market only. Not many of these were built was 1.8 liter single overhead and producing only 90 horsepowers. 142 newton meters of torque was equipped only with the rear wheel drive models. Then the legendary six cylinder in line engines start from 2 liters, 2.5 and 2.6 liter capacity. The 2 liter engine was available with single overhead cam and double overhead cam respectively 125 and 155 horsepowers, or with turbo and producing 215 horsepowers in both rear wheel drive or four wheel drive. Then is coming the next capacity 2.5 liter. The same block, six cylinder in line, naturally aspirated only and producing 178 horsepowers. Also, they are only rear wheel drive. Now, the most interesting, the bigger brother, the 2.6 liter six cylinder inline engine. Originally, there are two versions, 220 horsepowers, double overhead cam, 
naturally aspirated and the twin turbo 280 horsepower 368 newton meters of torque double overhead cam four wheel drive system four steering system as well etc 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 so this was the top nissan skyline r32 factory model or, let, or let's say standard model because this was one of the top sports japanese car the most uh, legendary maybe and many tuning companies been updating the model to even more high-end enlarging the capacity to 2.7 2.8 even 3 liters installing bigger turbos intercoolers so this engine was uh, very very strong with the capacity to hold the power up to 600 horsepower with the standard parts was a racing car as well and very successful indeed winning lots of trophies competitions absolutely absolutely legendary car options like 16 inch wheels were available and don't forget this is 1989 i'm gonna say again only ferrari f40 was with 17 inch on that time most of the supercars like uh, they were with 16 inch maximum even lamborghini countach 15 inch so ferrari tester also 16 inch and cars like this so it was very very cool car also limited slip differential four pistons uh, front calipers we said four steering wheel system absolutely absolutely high-tech car the car here today the 1989 nissan skyline gtr nismo they are all built in 1990 except the very early six cars built in 1989 and how we said before just 560 were built all painted in gunmetal gray color originally this engine producing 320 horsepower but because of some agree agreement the power needed to be 280 horsepower maximum but anyway nismo cars are very different than the standard skylines gtr so uh, larger intercoolers, larger brakes, suspension, different suspension, hood, make of aluminium, many different things on the car. So the car is very, very different. Uh, not only faster than any Skyline, but faster than many other cars as well. Just for example, I'm going to say in 1990, the record of Nordschleife was set by Porsche 944. But then Nissan reset to... Uh, eight minutes and 20 seconds so the the time for porsche 944 was eight minutes 45 so this is big huge difference between porsche 944 and nissan skyline gtr uh, nismo so just check the difference between porsche 944 and nissan skyline gtr nismo version can reach from 0 to 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour just under 4.7 seconds and a quarter miles under 12 seconds very very serious car for 1989-1990 the wheelbase was uh, a bit longer for gtr nismo 2 meter 615 millimeters and actually all the car is over the medium size it's long 4 meter 545 millimeters it's wide 1 meter 755 millimeters and the standard one is uh, one meter 695 so the gtr nismo versions are wider than the standard standard ones the, the car is high one meter 340 millimeters the curb weight is near 1500 kilograms and some of the models like 1.8 liter 90 horsepowers um, you remember them from the beginning they're approximately 1120 kilograms so they're more than 300 kilograms different 350 even difference between 1.8 liter 90 horsepower and nissan nismo but here in gtr nismo version we have lots of equipment different structure so it's normal the way to go to 1.5 ton we said the first six nismo cars were made in 1989 but the official debut was in 22nd of february 1990 and all 560 were built in the same 
1990 to homologate the model for FIA Group A. And 60 of the all the 560 cars, just 60 of them, they were turned into a racing cars. It was a real supercar, but as well very expensive. Nismo is very, very serious name, actually. They do proper sports stuff and for every enthusiast, this name means something very special. Actually, it is. They name itself, uh, actually the name itself means Nissan Motorsport. So the first three letters from Nissan, N-I-S, and Motorsport, M-O, so Nismo, and was founded in 1984. The fact this motorsport department had a great history even at 24 hours of Le Mans, really, it says a lot. So guys, I hope you liked the video about this uh, Nissan Skyline R32 Nismo. If you like, please subscribe my channel and see you next time guys. Bye!